I bet House $100 that I wouldn't get fired after my disciplinary hearing. He's fighting for his honor. You have to give him something he values more than honor. I need $200,000. It's House MD Season 8, Episode 4, Risky Business. I'm going to be reacting to it as a doctor working in London to see if I can get the diagnosis before House does. gonna call the cops this time? You know, if you wanted, you could put an end to all this. It's been a family business for 120 years. There's no way that I'm letting. What's wrong? Dad. Drive me to a doctor. The email to the entire staff from your ex-boss. But I have completed voluntary sexual harassment training. I sincerely apologize. He's saying he's sorry that someone, namely you, overreacted, namely by punching him. The classes make him sympathetic, which in turn makes his unrepentant attacker evil. Makes you so fired. 100 bucks says I won't get fired. You're late. Considering I don't work here, arguably I'm early. I was at a job interview. Thad Barton. I only help rich white guys. I have a department to refund. I woke up from a nap and uh, everything went from really small to really huge. It's called Alice in Wonderland Syndrome. Seriously? I never joke. Thank you, doctor. Well, if you really want to thank me, my department's not really a department. We're trying to find money in our budget so we don't have to move our operations overseas. Here, it's considered a normal, treatable condition. Well, you guys are gonna love doctors Chase and Taub. You got the money? I don't think he's moving the company out of greed. My mom, she died four months ago. He's constantly reminded of her. I need an intubation kit in here. Angiography showed a hemorrhagic site in the left lower lobe. I think it could be hyperviscosity syndrome. Treat the patient with activated protein C. If he has myelodysplastic syndrome, he'll bleed out. It's a conclusive test. There is zero chance less than zero chance that House MD in the real world would have made it to attending. Surely, after 159 instances of taking incalculably horrendous risks, one of them would go wrong. This isn't baseball. All it takes is one strike and you're out. Medical school fees, years of training, flushed down the toilet in a sea of shame with only a light spray of Febreze for comfort. The patient is still here though and license is intact. So what do we know so far? Everything looked small, he slept, then everything looked big. We also know that his wife died four months ago due to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Was she exposed to radiation? Was he he exposed to the same thing. If she had chemotherapy, then could he have been exposed to it as well? And it caused cancer in him. Ironically, many chemotherapy agents are also carcinogens, but a slightly increased future cancer risk probably doesn't seem so bad when your life is imminently threatened by another one. Interestingly, the type of cancers that usually develop as a result of chemotherapy exposure are blood cancers. He was also bleeding from the lungs and coughing up blood. If he developed a leukemia, that would cause the bleeding, but not really the Alice in Wonderland syndrome. That is a real thing, by the way. Alice in Wonderland is more likely to have been caused by infections, some of which can trigger blood cancer as well. Interesting, so if his wife was immunosuppressed, that could have made us susceptible to, say, Epstein-Barr virus, for example. He then gets infected, gets the Alice in Wonderland syndrome, and has a blood cancer triggered by the virus as well. Oh, that would explain everything. All right, I'm going for Epstein-Barr virus as my first diagnostic guess. Let's get more clues. Are you okay? Is it supposed to itch like this? Itching. Interesting. Already went away. Doubly interesting. The daughter said that her mother died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. What if she was misdiagnosed? It's HTLV-1, which our patient contracted through having sex with his wife. Start him on radiation. This is a waste of time. There's no way that Robin gave me an STD. Your heart rate is speeding up. Do you feel any tightness in your chest? Yes. I think you're having a heart attack. <laughs> I bet House $100 that I wouldn't get fired after my disciplinary hearing. He's fighting for his honor. You have to give him something he values more than honor. I need $200,000. This company's lost one third of his value since he was admitted. He's betting on myself to solve the case. Share price goes up, I pay you back. I could do 5,000. If you double your clinic hours, six a week. Deal. Did I predict that storyline direction or what? They went for virus from wife, but HTLV instead of Epstein-Barr. Fair enough, that can mimic lymphoma or even 
cause it. If it were that virus though, there are no specific cures, although some antivirals may help to reduce the symptoms of the condition. That makes me think that it really isn't that. So what else could it be? Well, we have a new symptom of the patient having what seemed like a heart attack, but wasn't actually one. Add that to coughing up blood and Alice in Wonderland syndrome, and what do you have? Well, if we just took the coughing up blood and the heart symptoms, then it would indicate some kind of high blood pressure. Adding in Alice in Wonderland syndrome, though, does complicate things unless it's triggered by a migraine. We also know high blood pressure can trigger migraines, so could that explain it? Then though, what is causing the high blood pressure? So clearly out of the blue, could it be an overactive thyroid, renal artery stenosis, pheochromocytoma, except that would have other features like renal artery stenosis in all fairness it's wild enough to count as a zebra but realistic enough to be accurate here the arteries leading to the kidney are narrowed making the kidneys believe that the blood pressure is actually lower than it is releasing hormones that increase the blood pressure when it's already high they could diagnose it with a ct angiogram and it'd be treatable with stenting or potentially surgery all right i'm going for renal artery stenosis as my second diagnostic guess Let's see if I'm right. Of course, you know, this means war. The cycle will continue until we've both gone too far. You'll go back to prison. Coronary arteries were clean. O2 set is 89. Did we perforate? Neck veins are flat. Our patient's lung problem is not a lung problem. It's a brain problem. That's my old boss. Nice to meet you, Dr. Adams. Hello, Dr. Park. Cute butt, huh? Have you considered normal pressure hydrocephalus? Autonomic dysregulation syndrome. It's normal pressure hydrocephalus. A spinal fluid test to confirm. A skin resurfacing laser is missing. What would House want with a skin resurfacing laser? It's a very expensive machine, and I'd like it back. How expensive? $200,000. You took it. Mr. Barton? Oh, no. We have convened the disciplinary committee as a result of her actions. You can cancel a hearing, because I'm firing her myself. She, she went rogue, and my patient is now in a coma. I'm the one who did the test. What else would explain our symptoms and make our patient go into a coma during that test? Hepatic encephalopathy. Just really love being a doctor so much. I barely even have $100. Don't fire me. Biopsy was clean. It's not his liver. His ICP was not normal. It was elevated. Ah! $100 US. Apparently we're allowed to do this now. Orthobros aren't known for stimulating deep meaningful thoughts beyond what speed setting the new drill goes up to or betting on who gets the next ACL injury at the wave pool surf contest but here it seems like they've stimulated an epiphany. Now, aside from the madness with House stealing the hospital laser resurfacing machine to sell and bet on the patient's company and Dr. Park winning a bet against House, we know our patient isn't winning his bet against his condition at the moment and we have a new clue metal. Could the patient have metal in him from something? Is that leaking into his bloodstream, causing heavy metal poisoning? Was it maybe his wife that had it and he was exposed as a byproduct and she didn't have lymphoma in the first place? Lots of questions, not many answers. It could be treated by chelation potentially and will get him back to a merry corporate trip to China very soon. Okay, I'm going for heavy metal poisoning as my third and final diagnostic guess. We are locked in like a joint bolt. Start the patient on plasmapheresis and wake up in an hour. This diagnosis was brought to you by the letter Y. Turns out your blood was getting thick and syrupy. Complexes of large Y-shaped antibodies caused by antibodies from your rheumatoid arthritis. Your stock price will be completely cured. Once you sign this, the lease that officially moves the company to China. This means a lot to me. You may remember me from the time I saved your life. If you move it, it'll be without me. Here's your five grand. What's the five grand? Call Chase and Taub. The boys are back. This check is for significantly more than what I told you it would take to fund the department. Congratulations. You caught your boyfriend cheating that morning. That's why you were late. It wasn't my boyfriend. It was my husband. Old news. No anger left. It's all bought and paid for. Morning has broken like the first burning. Fresh from the 
The team are back. Crazy diagnosis, hyperviscosity syndrome related to antibody production and rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, it makes total sense. The daughter dropped a clue with arthritis at the start. They even mentioned hyperviscosity during the differential, but that is a tough one to get without labs because the symptoms are so nonspecific, like dizziness, visual disturbance, shortness of breath. Definitely not something you'd think of straight away with this constellation of symptoms. Love how House has now funded the team with his stolen machine bet on himself. Great writing with the cherry on top being the destruction of the skeleton and orthopedics reign of the room is over. So 8.3 out of 10 entertainment. I'm gonna say 8.4 out of 10 accuracy. 8 out of 10 diagnosis, strong episode. This episode doesn't make full sense though until you watch a previous one where a tech millionaire starts getting generous.